What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about fragrances that when I wear them, I feel like I smell rich when I wear them. Um, so these are the ones that, if you want to smell like you got to like that, this is what I would recommend. Um, you know, we're already in this hobby, so we already know we don't have it like that. So, um, this video does have clones, designers, and niche, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the clones. So the first one's going to be Tuxedo by Mace. Um, a tuxedo clone by Mason Hombra, which is Kiss Met for Men. I don't know if that's focusing or not, I can't see. But I think it's a really good clone of the DNA. Um, probably one of the most affordable ones, and for how it smells. It does smell pretty luxurious. Next one is going to be one that is going to be a little bit more challenging, but for colder weather, or just keep it light if you're going to wear this to the office. Um, it's going to be Jean Lo Ombre by Mason Alhambra, and it's going to be a clone of. Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. Be careful on the sprays with this. Really strong fragrance. Even two sprays might be a little bit too much for the office. Um, talking, about, you know, talking about uh, saying it from experience. Next is going to be a designer. So this is going to be Prada, uh, Prada Lone. So this fragrance it smells really soapy, clean, fresh, um, very soapy. So, it's similar, what would it be similar to? Somewhat, slightly similar to Dior Homme Intense in my opinion, but way more clean smelling. Um, but yeah, this is a fragrance that if you're wearing this to the office, or just casual, or maybe just like white t-shirt, blue jeans, and just walking around, like if you don't gotta like that, this is kind of like when someone smells it on you, they'll assume you got some kind of money. <clears throat> Next is a fragrance that I got in the trade. It's pretty much how I found it. Um, it's been a little bit since I've worn it, but it's going to be Aqua de Parma Corsia. Let's see if you can get it on there. But uh, Colonia uh, Corsia. So it's a really nice one. Um, it's like a niche designer type of scent. Like if there was a niche 1 million, uh, 1 million elixir, I feel like this is what would be like the niche version of it, but, um, I actually prefer this one over 1 million elixir. Um, really nice fragrance, very long lasting, very elegant, um, kind of hard to dislike, but... You will smell different and you will smell like money. <clears throat> Next one is the fragrance that I only wear if I'm more dressed up. I used to wear this one more to work while I was dressed up at work. Don't really wear it too much anymore um, just because I haven't really dressed up that much for work anymore. Just don't have to anymore. It's going to be Creed Viking. So I do have Old Spice Cologne. Does not smell anything near. Creed Viking. I think it's just people wanting to hate. Um, people just assuming Old Spice with a fougere and this being a fougere. But this is nowhere near that DNA. Um, I will still say, out of all the fougeres I have, this is still the best one in my collection. Um, I don't want to run out of the juice. I'm already almost out. Even better than Eau Sauvage. Um, Replicas Barbershop. Uh, what else do I have? But just off the top of my mind, either way, this is going to be number one in my list, uh, especially for barbershop fragrances. But it's a really nice fragrance, which smells very expensive and is somewhat expensive. And the last one, this is more for a night out event. Um, this is going to be Intoxicated by Killian. This one I could see like an all black suit three-piece suit wearing this and it'll be a game changer you guys know this is my favorite fragrance of my entire collection but it's just it's just way too good this is the one that if I was wearing if I was going out at night for something something professional it doesn't even have to be professional to wear this fragrance all black put that on panties all over the floor that's all I gotta say but um, that's all I have for you guys today. 
Please let me know what you guys think of these fragrances. What fragrances would you smell or would you spray on yourself or recommend to someone to wear if they wanted to smell expensive or just like if they got it like that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.